Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome back to my channel This is the continue of solving 2022 paper for class 11 So this is part number 9 We have to prove that We are given with this term And we have to show that y uh, in, is equal to 2 into 1 minus y over y Okay So uh, this is from chapter 6 The first term is 1 and the r value will be dividing uh, the second term by a first term means if we divide x over 2 this is the second term by this over 1 and we are having minus sign so it will be minus x over 2 divided by 1 so minus x over 2 we can also check it by dividing for, uh, third term with the second term which will be r is equal to x square divided by 4 divided by x over 2 so it will be 2 ones are 2 twos are and x will be cancelled with 1 so it will be minus x over <coughs> 2 it's like uh, same sorry so we get r is equal to minus x over 2 okay and a1 is equal to 1 so we get the formula of undefined term a divided by 1 minus r a means 1 divided by 1 minus r is minus x divided by solving it minus minus will be plus and taking the LCM it will shift uh, to upper side uh, means numerator we will get this now multi cross multiplying it cross multiplying it we will get um, y multiply by x plus 3 into 2 ones are 2 uh, then multiplying y uh, x y x into y 2 y uh, shifting y there so it will 2 minus 2 y taking 2 uh, uh, means uh, y is dividing here multiplying here it will come here and it will divide by this term so we will get uh, taking 2 common from here this will be 2 into 1 minus y divided by y so this is what we have to show so it is proof now moving towards the next we are give we have to find the value of n and value of r we are given with uh, nc ncr 10 and nc npc npr 20 60 <coughs> sorry so we have the formula of permittivity n factorial divided by n minus r factorial is equal to 60 and the com com combination formula is we are just have we just have r factorial extra in it so this whole is equal to uh, uh, permittivity so we put permittivity and um, this is 60 the value is given 60 and r factorial and um, the value of uh, combination is 10 cross multiplying it 60 divided by um, 10 will be 6 so 6 factor uh, r factorial will be 3 okay so we get the value of r is 3 as 3 factorial is equal to 6 then we have to find the value of r as we have find the value of then we have to find the value of n r is already found so this is the value or this is the formula of fermentation r will become 3 and this will be 3 and the value of fermentation is 60 cross multiplying it this will be cancelled out and we get 60 is equal to n, uh, n permutation which will answer will be equal to um, 5 because 5 permutation is equal to 60 permutation permutation will be cancelled out and we get the value of n is equal to 5 so we get the value of r is equal to 3 and n is equal to 5 then we have the question number 11 uh, green color ball are given 9 and red color ball are given 6 we have 
we have to find the possibility of ball in red color and in green color so uh, probability the formula is um, first of all we have to find the total number of ball uh, which is red and green 9 plus 6 gives 15 and the probability first part we have to find the uh, probability of green color so we I have written PG uh, it is uh, its formula is given number of balls divided by total number of balls so the given number of ball in green color is 9 so the formula will be 9 divided by total number 15 we will get 3 over 5 PG okay uh, probability, probability of green color then we have to find the probability of red color which will formula will remain same given a uh, number of balls means red color given number of red balls divided by total number of balls so 6 divided by 15 will be 2 divided by 5 so this is the answer now moving towards the next question which is question number this part uh, we are given with this is question number 13 basically cos theta is equal to 1 over 3 and the terminal arm lies in um, third quadrant let me check after first of all we are given with cos theta is equal to 1 over 3 so we have to find the remaining angles remaining six angles which is cos which is sine cos 10 and the reciprocal cosecant secant and cot so we have to resolve it in uh, right triangle cos is uh, curly brown here base will be minus 1 and the uh, hypotenuse will be 2 ok we have to find the perpendicular by Pythagoras theorem perpendicular will be under root 5 ok and now we can easily find some people have perpendicular is under root 5 over 2 hypotenuse is 2 this is under root 5 <clears throat> then curly brown hair is given then cord will be cord will be through proper pressing proper and base will is 1 is minus 1 so it will be minus here now taking the reciprocal <clears throat> reciprocal will be 1 over under root 2 this will be minus 2 and this will be 2 under root 5 now we have to see the quadrant cos is negative in third quadrant so it is I mean fourth quadrant cos is negative in fourth quadrant so uh, we have to put sign according to the fourth quadrant so signs will be cos will be negative this will be negative and remaining all will be positive because of the quadrant it is positive it is positive okay now next we have question number 14 <coughs> short question number 14 which is sign this we have to prove this so we will take right hand side and prove that sin uh, 10 is equal to sin over cos here is also just we are given with here alpha and here is beta so sin alpha over sin beta is equal to 10 alpha and 10 alpha over uh, 10 beta is equal to sin alpha over uh, cos beta same with the denominator then taking LCM will be cos alpha cos beta sin alpha sin beta uh, sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta and these two will be cancelled out we are remaining we are left with this this is cos alpha uh, I mean sin alpha cos beta plus minus sin beta cos alpha then this is equal to sin alpha minus beta and the denominator is sin alpha plus beta which is equal to left hand side 
and then we have question number 15 we have to find the smallest angle a b c is given a smallest angle will be a alpha you don't have to draw the diagram or if you draw the diagram it will be much easier for you so we have to find alpha smallest angle so cos alpha using the formula or when we are given three sides cos alpha will be equal to minus b square remaining two sides a square b square divided by 2 bc now just putting the values we will get the value of alpha which is this this is all work of calculator then we have part number 16 we are given bit 2 cos inverse 4 over 5 is equal to sin inverse 24 over 5 we have to prove this term <clears throat> okay so first of all letting this term as alpha then uh, shifting cos here we will get the value of cos alpha is equal to 4 over 5 now finding the uh, remaining side remaining two sides um, means cos alpha is some cur uh, curly brown here so we are given with base is 4 and hypotenuse is 5 we have to find the perpendicular by Pythagoras theorem which is this 3 Pythagoras theorem basically is perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square we have to find this perpendicular square uh, we have uh, we shift uh, uh, base in the, the left side <coughs> which will be minus b square now putting the squaring both sides and putting value we will get uh, p is equal to 3 okay sine alpha will be some people have people will be 3 and hypotenuse will be 5 now the value now the formula will be using will be uh, sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha cos alpha and then we have the value of sine alpha is 3 over 5 and cos alpha 4 over 5 solving it we will get the value of uh, 24 over 25 now this is sine 2 alpha and alpha we have let in equation number one so sine will be <clears throat> first of all sine is plus here when we will shift there it will be minus one then we will put the value of alpha from equation number one which is minus uh, cos inverse for uh, four over five we have to prove that we have proved that <clears throat> so these uh, were the short questions but we are left with one question let us see that this is a question I don't know the part number you can check uh, you can check it from the previous video so it is related to chapter number 8 binomial theorem this is a formula of binomial theorem let me explain for you a plus x to the power n is equal to uh, nc0 okay a to the power n and x to the power n which these three terms always equal to 1 remember that then we have nc1 nc1 uh, which is equal to nc1 which is equal to n factorial then a to the power uh, a to the power will always be my uh, decrease minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on till minus n minus n will be 0 and the value of the power of x will be increased to the power 1 to the power 2 3 4 and to the power till n <clears throat> so this is a formula of binomial theorem so see here nc1 nc0 is 1 nc1 is n not n factorial n and nc2 is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial nc3 will be increased by nc uh, n minus 2 into 3 factorial and so on okay so simplifying this by binomial theorem first of all we have this term and then we have this term then we have to separate this term so we have to use binomial theorem so we are given with power a plus x to the power n 
सो एन विल बी एन सी जी फोर सी जीरो फोर टू द पावर एन ए टू द पावर एन सो टू द पावर फोर आयोटा टू द पावर हेयर ए एंड दिस इज एक्स जस्ट पुटिंग इन द फॉर्मूला एन सी वन ए टू द पावर एन माइनस वन एक्स टू द पावर वन एंड एन सी टू ए टू द पावर एन माइनस टू एक्स टू द पावर टू वी विल गो मैक्सिमम टू फोर एंड दिस विल बी एंड एन सी थ्री ए टू द पावर एन माइनस थ्री एक्स टू द पावर थ्री एन सी फोर विल बी एन ए टू द पावर एन माइनस वन और ए टू द पावर जीरो एक्स टू द पावर एन मीन आई वोडा टू दावर फोर जस्ट सिंप्लीफाइंग इट फुटिंग द वैल्यूज इन कैलकुलेटर वी विल गेट दिस टर्म सिंप्लीफाइंग इट टिल हेयर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टू माइनस आयोटा विल बी जस्ट रिवर्सिंग द साइन वी विल गेट दिस फोर्टी एट आयोटा ओके सो आई होप यू ऑल लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग अल्लाह हाफिज़